We are learning more about the death of an inmate at the Augusta State Medical Prison. Deputies say 29-year-old Shannon Greer was stabbed multiple times with a homemade knife after getting into a fight with another inmate. Greer was serving a 25-year sentence for aggravated child molestation and aggravated sodomy from Fulton County. Tonight, we spoke to someone on the inside with some inside information. He's talking only to News 12's Christy Etheridge because he's worried this could happen again. I'm in Augusta, Georgia, in Augusta State Medical Prison. A voice from a source on the inside after a weekend homicide. He's too scared to tell you his name, but there are some things he wants you to know before someone else gets hurt. He believes the prison is trying to cover up what really happened Sunday, just before breakfast. They hit the button for child call for practice, which is about about six o'clock in the morning, and the dude that came in, he walked in, and the door was popped that he went in through to where Shannon Rear was in the room sleeping. Deputies say another inmate stabbed this man multiple times with a homemade knife after they got into a fight. How easy is it to bring in a weapon or a knife or create a, a homemade weapon? Oh, it's easy. You have to have a knife to be able to survive in here. But most of the time, it's not the kind of knife you buy at the store. And he says it's not difficult to be resourceful when making your own. Any, any kind of little metal you can get, you can get metal. People can break the metal off their beams. They just replace all the lockers. They put heavy duty lockers that you can't break because people were breaking that down and making homemade knives. But how he says the other inmate got to Greer is even more concerning. He says when guys come back to their cell and call for officers to open the door, some officers don't follow protocol and check IDs to make sure it's the right guy going into the right cell. When you come back from child, you just follow A, uh, 116, 223, and in the booth they got to pop the button to let you in. But if they don't know that you don't live in that room and you just holler it out, then they'll pop the door. And that's how people get stabbed while they're sleeping. He says the new warden is improving security, and after getting a call from someone on the inside, he was the first person we called tonight. With News 12, I'm calling for the warden. We're still waiting to hear back. Meanwhile, our source on the inside waits in fear for something to be done. Again, I tried to get in touch with the warden tonight. As soon as I got off the phone with my source on the inside, I first spoke to a secretary and then to a lieutenant who said he would get the message to the warden as soon as possible. And Christy, we're hoping the warden can shed some light on all of this. These are some very serious allegations. They are. Still no official word, though, about the suspect in Sunday's stabbing. So far, all deputies will confirm is that he's an inmate. That's right. No word yet on even his name or even his charges. But GBI agents say they are meeting with District Attorney Ashley Wright's office to talk about it all. And we'll let you know when they make any decisions. All right. Thanks for that update, Christy.